Josh Shane Stars with DroidModerites.com, and as some of you may have heard, Verizon had a leak the other day, a new version of Jelly Bean for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. This is Jelly Bean 4.1.2, it's VR BMA number 2. Developer Open1 at your 1i0 had provided a method for updating to the leak and keeping the unlocked bootloader and also root and recovery but it was very extensive and it is similar to the root method that I posted for Jelly Bean a few weeks back. Uh, so you guys know how extensive that method was. Um, Beanstown 106 has developed a rooted DODEX version of the stock ROM that you can just flash via recovery. So if you're already unlocked, already rooted, and you already have recovery installed, this is a much easier method of updating to that leak. Now, what all the leak entails, I'm not really sure right now. Uh, normally when we get new modems it means better reception, better battery life, uh, but also there's been speculation that the Note 2 functionality would be uh, brought onto the Galaxy S3 and this may be a stepping stone to that so I'm not really sure, uh, but you can head to the source link where there will be a discussion and you can see what other people have found out about this leak. Uh, but without further ado we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery so we want to power down the device. Okay so we're going to boot into recovery to do that we'll hold the volume up button, home, and power until we fill it rumble, and then we'll let go of the power button only. And now it should boot into recovery. Okay, so now that we're in recovery, uh, we'll go ahead and install the leaked rooted version of the ROM. Uh, before you get started, this is actually my wife's phone, so I had to make sure that I back it all up because she'll want me to flash directly back to the ROM that she was running. So I'll go ahead and back that up now. Uh, from the main menu, you'll go to Backup and Restore, and then Backup. This way you can go back to the version that you were on in case anything ever goes wrong. You'll always be able to get back to the original firmware that you were running. So as soon as this finishes, we will continue with the ROM flash. Okay, so once the backup is complete, we will want to go back and we will wipe data factory reset, select yes. This is flashable via twerp or clockwork mod recovery, so whichever you choose is fine. We'll go to wipe cache, select yes. Then we'll go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache, select yes. Then we'll go back and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card, it should be in your download folder. And we're looking for the VRBMA2DODEX.zip. Select yes. You can download this file and the modems from the link in the description. I'll have those there for you. Uh, so you'll have two, two files to flash here. You'll have the ROM itself and then the modems as well. So we'll give this just a few minutes to install and then we will flash the modem. Okay, so as soon as that finishes, we're going to go back to choose it from SD card. We'll go to download and uh, we'll go ahead and flash that modem. There's also an RPM file, so you'll probably want to go ahead and flash that as well. Okay, as soon as that's finished, we'll go back and reboot the system now. And you are now running the latest leaked version of Android 4.1.2 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Um, with this leak, it just means that Verizon is continuing to work on the Galaxy S3. They've discontinued the Galaxy Nexus, but they're still working on the Galaxy S3, and uh, Samsung is releasing new updates, so we can expect a real update, I'm sure, pretty soon. The speculation is that it will include features like pop-up browser, multi-window. Um, obviously, those are some highly coveted features uh, from the Note 2 that we would love to see on our Galaxy S3s. But anyways, guys, that has been how to flash the leaked build for the Galaxy S3. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more from me at droidmonarchs.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. With droidmoderates.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Eclipse ROM for the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. Now this ROM is made by Nitroglycerin.